Hi everybody. So in this video, you know, I'm going to tell you like how we can use the CTL JET debug command, uh, you know, in checkpoint security gateway. So basically, um, CTL JET debug we use, for example, if you are doing any troubleshooting and uh, you are trying to filter your source destination IP on the smart console, but your log server is not working and we are on the P1 P2 call. Maybe you are with uh, uh, you know, uh, on the on the call with a client. So in this situation, if you want to show them like um, that traffic is uh, blocking on our uh, firewall against any role um, or not. So it is not recommended to run every time. So, but you know, uh, for the time period, you can run the command mwctlj debug. And uh, on the basis of that, on the basis of log, we can tell like that traffic is getting drop or allow on our firewall. For example, um, I have the source, for example, I have the source IP. Uh, source IP is um, 10. Dot, uh, 10 .1 .1 and I'm considering destination IP. Destination IP I'm considering um, a dot. This is our Google DNS. You want to prove like this traffic is getting drop on our firewall or not with the help of jet debug command. So this is the jet debug command MWCTL jet debug plus drop and grip. So if you are a specific like you are uh, pretty much sure about your source IP and destination IP. Then we can filter like this. FWCTL JDBug plus drop and then pipe section grep and use the source IP 10.1.1 dot a star and destination IP. Don't teach all four opted here. If you are not sure about your uh, you know, destination IP, so we just need to copy this command and paste here. And you can use here only source, for example, 10. And if you run if you run this command, uh, and then you know tell user on the call to initiate the traffic. So once they will initiate the traffic, we will you know uh, get the logs on our firewall. And accordingly, you can tell that traffic is getting a allow or deny or if it drop, uh, which rule uh, that traffic is dropping. So let's uh, uh, try it uh, right now uh, with the help of lab. So at the moment, I have the PC. And uh, let me just do control C in its IP is this is my internal PC. So its IP is 10.1.10. So I'm just trying to ping Google DNS. It dot it dot it dot it. I'm just putting the continuous ping. Okay. And this is our um, CLI of the gateway security gateway and i'm i'm on the export mode so it is recommended to run the command in export mode so i'm just putting this command see uh, i have done the continuous ping and at the moment we are able to see you know like which rule is dropping the packet so it is showing rule based drop and it is dropped a default policy. So reason is at the moment I did not, you know, uh, added this firewall on the uh, security management server uh, because you know my uh, smart console uh, evolution, evolution license is expired. So whatever uh, whatever SMS I have, uh, this SMS evolution license has been expired. So that I need to renew later. So that is the different thing. So we just need to focus like how JDBOG is helpful in the production. If your log server is not working and we are not able to see any logs on your smart console. And if you want to know, get it identified with the help of a, a JDBOG command. So it is CPU intensive also. So it makes you like, um, we need to know, uh, stop the JDBOG you know, right away after, you know, uh, after you know once we uh, see the logs so it is clearly mentioned like it is getting dropped by default policy 
I'm just doing control C and then we need to run this command to onset your debug. So your debug will be onset. And if you run the FW state, it will show like which policy package at the moment. So it is the initial policy package. So there is no any policy package I have installed in this gateway. Because I, I you know I did not add, I did, you know, um, this gateway on the smart, you can select security management server. Because my SMS license, evolution license has been expired. But that is a different thing. My main motive was to show you like how we can use JDebug to get this, you know, identify uh, with the help of like which rule, each, you know, uh, packet is getting dropped by which rule. And for example, if you're not sure about uh, your destination IP, so let's try to run this command. So it is clearly showing, right? So source is 10.1.10 and it is trying, this is the source port and trying port 8.8.8, 453, then it's port in drop by, uh, and the rule base is drop by default policy. So by default, it is going to drop by default policy, uh, policy. Uh, whichever you know generally in the checkpoint gateway, you can security gateway. So if you want to allow, we need to first uh, you know add, add this gateway in your uh, SMS with the help of a smart console, and then uh, once you added the rule for these source and destinations, so it it will you know it will uh, get allowed, and after that we can check this connectivity again, so it will show like nothing is drop and not, nothing is blocked by the firewall. I mean like uh, there drop you know, uh, by default policy, it will be clear. Okay, so this is this is how we can use, you know, uh, JDebug uh, in our production. And we should make sure like, you know, once we have done your, you know, uh, debug, just run this command FWCTL debug zero to onset your debug. Okay, and let's see the CPU. So CPU is at the, at the moment is normal. So only 38 and 90% total CPU core is like uh, two. If you come here, so it's core Excel is enable and core Excel instance is two. And if you come on the CPU part, so it will show like how many CPU we have. Or if you go on a system info, so it will uh, show you the details. Okay, so core Excel instance is only two. And there are two CPU, one, one is working as SND, secure network, secure, you know, network distributor, and one as a firewall instances. So uh, that's it about the JDBug. So you can use, you know, um, JDBug like, uh, right, you know, this way to uh, troubleshoot any um, live traffic in the production.